name is Ari here from Crypto News, and in this video, I do want to dive into a short tutorial on TradingView real quick. I know a lot of people are asking, what platform am I using? How am I using? How can I use TradingView? Well, it's very, very simple, guys. First of all, we're going to dive in straight into the TradingView. I'm not going to talk so much, but we're going to be going to TradingView.com. I will be leaving the link in the description below. You could go ahead and upgrade your status. Um, obviously, you don't need something like that just yet in my opinion but you got uh you know you got monthly you got weekly you got annually or whatever month monthly or annually sorry not weekly um you could go ahead and pick your plan right now for me personally or not for me for you guys sorry you guys don't need any pro account just yet um but right here once you go on trading view you're gonna go ahead and you know because this is a crypto channel we're gonna go ahead and dive in into bitcoin and see how you could do all the ta how you can add you know, RSIs, moving averages and so on now first of all you have this watch list right here it's gonna look like this most likely trading you're gonna enter you're gonna look like this okay if you want to change it to black all you have to go is uh you go you're gonna go on settings which should be right here and then you're gonna go on um you know you have all the all the settings right here light mode essentially um, i'm not gonna confirm that but you could go ahead and do that you could go ahead and play with it uh with the settings right here and you could remove you know back line so i don't know if you guys can see it but if i go on the scales and the canvas and whatnot you guys can see that you know the lines would essentially look uh, better or worse or bad it doesn't matter so you could go ahead and play with that on the settings but we're really going to be talking about the crypto how to do ta how to draw lines um and that's about it so first of all let's talk about the watch list because the watch list is very important when you are trading crypto you need a watch list of whatever crypto there are you want to know you you know when you wake up in the morning especially if you're a trader you want to start with you know top one and then hit space bar see if there's anything that you could essentially see okay so you know right here for verse veracity for example i saw a triangle and i decided to take the trade at the breakout okay now how do you essentially um uh, calculate that well you would take the top right here of the triangle the the average to the bottom and then you would extend that and as you guys can see right here we reached seven cents so usually when you're doing trades you don't want to essentially take profit at the exact target because that's not what usually happens you want to take it right here or right here okay so assuming you are trading with leverage and you took that trade right you would have been up you know 30 40 50 depending on the leverage you use but two to three x you would have been up like 45 percent, which is fantastic in a matter of like two hours so that's pretty good so that's that on uh you know analysis and you want to essentially go down go down go down go down go down you want to hit the space bar and keep essentially uh you know looking at all the charts right you could look at these triangles by the way it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to essentially look at that triangle it, it, it should be done very very easily and uh, that's about it now right here you're gonna have uh, all the indicators so right here it's gonna tell you indicators and let's say you want to look at rsi you're gonna go ahead and type in rsi and in the rsi you're obviously going to see the relative strength index you're going to see what's oversold what's overbought you could even change the rsi so i know a lot of people like to change it including myself you could move all these moving averages bollinger bands i don't think they're necessary but you could remove that and then i like to make it orange i like to make it a little bit thicker like that you could take this and then you could take this drop down and bring it down lower and then you see it make it it makes it a little bit more clean now everything above 70 will be you know overbought anything above 70 will be overbought right here that's why it's a little bit green oh investors are going to be looking to sell at this area so be careful anything below 30 it's going to be oversold 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 and that's about it so i'm not going to teach you guys how to trade i just want to teach you guys a little bit on how to use it you got all the trend lines right here so you got info ray extended ray trend uh trend angle horizontal angle something like that to make it straight uh, vertical cross which you don't really need most of these things you're, you're not really going to need if you want to make like a par parallel channel some sort of like a channel some uh you know which i like to use a lot you could go ahead and do it but uh right here like that like say you want to look at a channel you could go ahead and do something like that right here you got the fibonacci retracement if you're big into the fibs you could go ahead and use that obviously it's going to be multicolor. it's going to be rainbow so you could go ahead and edit it yourself how do you do that well if you go like that and then you triple click right here 
or double click, sorry, you could see style and then see all the fib lines that you would like to put. I like to put mine white white, have the golden ratio sitting at 6.18 because we know that the Fibonacci 6.18 is the golden rule. And pretty much that's about it. Here you got long position, short position. So, you know, if you're taking a long position right here and you want to put your stop loss right here, it's going to tell you your risk reward ratio. Everything can pretty much uh, be found on the left of trading view so you got text right here if you guys are big in posting on trading view you could go go ahead and do that as well you got the ruler to see how much you know we're up in the past uh you know, couple of hours on the past day or so you could go ahead and do that you got emojis right here which is not really necessary but uh overall guys i mean yeah i mean the pen is probably very useful for me because i'm a youtuber and i like to like you know essentially explain so i put all my favorites right here so how do you do that essentially well you're gonna go right here and then you're gonna hit the star you're gonna hit the star if you want to add it to your favorite for me i have this right here this rectangle to for, to draw support resistance especially on the bigger time frames so if i go on the weekly time frame right here on trading view i want to add really really thick support resistance because we know how important it is and this would essentially be one okay i don't want to just put a line i want to put i want i like to draw from the wick to the closure especially on the weekly because i know how important it is essentially so um that's what i like to do here the fibonacci obviously you could use it as well to draw it ups and downs the drawing is for me because i'm a youtuber obviously here is for short-term support resistance something like that right now we're currently consolidating between uh you know 25,000 to 32,000 uh, right here i believe it's also a short position we got short position we got long position here we got the average percentage or not the percentage the the pump how high bitcoin pumped essentially this curve right here is also very very important i like to draw you know parabolic lines right here especially on the log chart so if i open right here logarithmic chart and i actually zoom out you could see um that overall i'm bitcoin is just like obviously looking pretty pretty good look at that if you have a look at bitcoin on the log chart on the monthly let's have a look at the monthly time frame because it's better you guys can see like you know it, it's just looking pretty pretty good and they, there is some sort of curve right here now obviously this curve um that's not the curve that i like to see it's usually it's usually something like that it's like a rainbow curve and i really like to use that for my trend for my long-term base trend and you can see guys that we pretty much kissed that level and we haven't really been below this trend in uh in a while so obviously this trend is very very important it's a rainbow trend i really, really like to use that curve for that and if you guys realized and saw that trend and paid attention to that trend you would essentially say that this is a buy target right here so that's what's happening right here i like to add comments here uh or not here something like that um here you could tell what the price is as you guys can see so right now the price sitting at it's really not like that it's like twenty seven thousand five hundred and thirty. right here it tells you you know range how many months it took to essentially enter the bull market bull market or bear market whatever it is here you could write if you guys have any notes if you're big on twitter and you want to talk about that obviously and of course you got this line which is not really important but if you want to essentially indicate when the next halving would be which would be approximately right here then of course you can essentially uh, do that and separate with the halvings and pretty much that's about it so the main thing you're going to be using is most likely pattern so these things right here so uh the lines the, the angle lines and the trend lines which is these right here these are the main important ones you're going to be using especially if you're trading on the lower time frame i'm talking about like 15 minute time frame or the one hour time frame how i was trading veracity yesterday and pretty much that's about it other than that you don't really want to use anything you don't want to over trade you do have indicators that you want to be using right here so like the stock rsi you want to be using the volume you could go ahead and do that as well so all these things right here you could essentially be using but uh and this is the volume as well you could go ahead and use other indicators like bollinger bands like i don't know what you guys essentially use me personally i don't really use that many indicators i like to trade naked charts but of course that you know everyone has a different trading style but indicators is really one of what, what you want to be using if you want to trade and change your uh, you know the candle type to like a linear chart or line with marker or anything like that you could essentially do so you could go ahead and do area i'm not a big fan of that essentially i know a lot of people like to use high can she candles because it you know, tells you you know trend line a proper trend line but overall guys that is my video on trading view like i said it's a quick 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 tutorial you do have all the time frames right here you could also set uh favor them right here as you guys can see so if you want to add the 10 minute time frame you could if you want to add the 30 minute time frame you can 
and pretty much that's about it so that is my video my tutorial if you guys do like this video on uh you know on trading view tutorial don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next